there's 34 of you on the website and I can see like where everyone is and oh my gosh. I'm gonna film this launch but there's 37 of you on the website. 37. There's been three orders so far. It is two minutes past seven. What the hell? I didn't expect a lot. I didn't expect much. 38. I didn't expect anything for this launch because I saw everyone that wanted one got one yesterday because yesterday's Patreon launch was so incredible. Oh, as, right. So I've got the banner on the website. Everything is in. I hope we don't sell out too quickly. Oh, breathe. The email has gone out. Oh, what a lush order. Making magic, XL. Three greeting cards, uh, and four greeting cards, and a London enamel pin from Jacqueline. Oh, thank you so much. 40 people on the website. 40 people. Another one. Large making magic and a pre order for the self care club in hot pink. I was listening to like lo fi on YouTube just to like calm me down a bit, but I've had to turn it off because this is just too intense. It is three minutes past seven. Another one. Making magic sweater in large. Oh my gosh, how many do we have left? Whew. Right, we've got small. We've run out of medium. We've got large, we've got XL, we've run out of XXL. That's for the making magic. Small business, light blue, we've got small, we haven't got medium, we haven't got large, we haven't got extra large, and we haven't got XXL. So we only have small left in the small business sweater, the small, small business sweater. Um. What else do we have? Obviously the self-care is unlimited. So literally it's just the Make Your Magic sweaters and the pre-orders for the self-care club are unlimited. Yes, I think I've said that already. My brain, absolutely crazy. Oh, I feel bad that sizes have sold out. I try to judge which sizes are most popular and large and extra large are most popular by far. So I got the most of those. Yeah, we've still got some of those, but we've sold out of the XXL and the medium. But we still got some smalls. <gasps> There's people from all over the world. America, in LA, Texas, Washington, Quebec, Massachusetts. Is that how you say it? Where's that? Moldova, Netherlands, Belgium, France all over the UK and Ireland. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hello, it has been a while since the last studio vlog and since I last filmed. So after the, the most recent shop launch with all the Make It Magic sweaters that sold out, I was so overwhelmed and I've sort of taken a break. Well, not a break because I've been so busy, but a break between filming um just because I needed I needed a break it was intense it was crazy I have I've already packed and shipped all of the sweaters they're they're gone from the first launch apart from the ones that are with the hot pink self-care pre-orders all the sweaters have been ordered in I am waiting for new uh fabric tags or labels to go inside them so I've got my logo on them this time so they'll be sewn into the collar and in nice and soft and satin so it's just that extra luxury touch of branding so they'll all be on the next restock and I've been working on the next restock ASAP so I had so many emails and messages and I never get emails asking about stock but I had so many asking when's the making magic sweater gonna come back in stock i missed it are you gonna bring it back so of course instantly after the launch as soon as all of the ones were packed up and gone and sent to everyone i was working on the restock so i ordered i've ordered in loads again because i don't want anyone to miss out 
I, I still think they're great for spring because they're not like too thick. They're nice and comfy to wear and I think they'll look great with like a pair of cycle shorts or something and leggings. Um, so I've ordered in loads of them, got the satin tags to go in them. Um, I'm also restocking the small business sweater in blue and some of the self-care sweaters in hot pink and dusky pink. And I believe that is that is it for the next restock. But that's it for the sweaters. That's not everything. You are currently sat on a bunch of new desk pads. Let me show you. So these are the new Big Plans desk pads. However, unfortunately, over 50% of them have arrived with this like pink line. Can you see that? This pink line going down the bottom on over 50% of them. And if it was like a smaller percentage, I would just, you know, sell them as seconds because I do expect to get some seconds in such a large, large order, but there were so many. So I've emailed the company and have asked, can they please reprint just the ones that were affected by this? I don't want to reprint all the order because not all of them were affected, but I want the ones that were affected by it to be reprinted if possible. They, they have said that it's a really minor issue and could I just sell them as seconds? And I was like, I would rather not because it's affecting such a large percentage of the order. So I am trying to, trying to fight for the reprint. But yes, there's those coming back in. I've also restocked all of these monthly desk pads. Finally, these are a bestseller. And I was out of stock for like two weeks and they're still selling. So I have them in now belly bands. I've also placed an order for making magic. Where are they? Keychains, because these are also out of stock, but I've also, oops, I've also placed an order for making magic enamel pins. So they'll be probably about half the size, um, but the same design as an enamel pin, but also the keychains are coming back. So basically, Oh, and I've restocked these, <laughs> these to-do lists. I haven't put the belly bands on these yet, but these go with um, quite a lot of sets and they're a bestseller as well. So basically all of the profit, oh, and I've got to-do lists coming. Um, I've restocked my Arch Terrazzo to-do lists and the black and white to-do lists as well. So everything, all the profit made during the Making Magic sweater launch has gone back into the business back on new products and updating and up, up restocking old products. Yeah, so it's been, it's been busy, but I haven't been filming because I've just been literally like tying my hair in a bun, looking like a homeless person and getting on with everything that needs to be done. And also between all that, doing the admin, packing wholesale orders, meeting new clients, doing freelance work, doing a bunch of brand, branding projects, I can't talk, doing a bunch of branding projects, commissions and illustrations. And yeah, I've barely posted on social media because of how busy it's been, but I'm back. So what am I doing? Um, my next project, next thing to do. Oh, I have to pack some orders.
head into the embroidery shop I've had to make two trips because my car is so small so we have one box in the back another box in the front and I had to take a box down on the weekend as well because I just can't fit three boxes in my car so these are the Make It Magic sweaters, pink sweaters, Blue Small Business sweaters, a range of sweaters and I'm getting these tags put in them as well so let's go rush today because I'm heading on holiday tomorrow for a short break only for two days to Tanby um, but it's such a busy week I have so many things to do so many freelance projects and branding projects and so many orders I'm so so grateful like I love it I'm just a bit stressed because I'm going away tomorrow and I don't want to I don't want to leave things too late. I hate getting orders out late. I hate. I just don't like being. I just don't like being late. Um, I haven't even packed. It's our first holiday, holiday, with the dogs. Um, in a little in a motorhome thing. So I don't know how. You know, I'm, I'm a bit stressed because I don't know how it's going to work in such a small space with such a large dog. Um, uh, uh, well, two dogs. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, but also apprehensive. Um, I was working till like 9pm last night, doing bits and pieces. I'm also working on the restock. I haven't filmed like anything because it's just been so manic here. I currently have a wholesale order here waiting to go out. Um, another one packed up over there. Waiting for a collection today, which I hope comes, well, I hope it comes soon because I don't want to miss it because I got a Specsavers appointment at two o'clock, but I also don't want it to come soon because I can get more orders done and sent out. So it's just a bit crazy at the moment. Um, let's weigh this. And I feel just like when I'm busy, I have the Tetris theme tune stuck in my head. Cause I'm just like, go, go, go. So it's going to be like this all day, I think. Getting on in the end of May. Uh, I have emailed everyone about the reporting, if there was anything outstanding and stuff like that. So I also put together a logo and a website last night for a family friend all in one afternoon. So um, yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to do that, but I did that and that's why I was working so late. And now today I'm like, oh my gosh, I got so much to do till we go tomorrow. His first little holiday. I'm stressed.
cards, I think, to do lists. restock of these and a restock of these finally it's great timing because i can get in an outstanding wholesale order out today now before i go um i just need royal mail collection to come within the hour, because that's when I'm leaving for my Specsavers appointment. Um, and I need them to pick up those today. Let's get some envelopes. Oh, sleeping baby. So with this one, I'm going to pay this hot pink envelope. I was using a baby pink and a, like a lilac, but I think the hot pink works really well. And with these, because these are part of the same collection, it's good to use the same envelope with the same collection. These are just going to be white envelopes. And the same for this one, I believe a white one. This is the last one of this one. I would restock it, but I have lost the design file for it. So it is, it is gone. <laughs> The last one is gone. Because this is quite a few greeting cards in the same order, I'm going to put them in one sallow bag rather than individual biodegradable ones, just to save on waste. I'm sure my customer would prefer just one bag to throw away rather than six. It's a really old design actually and confession I haven't read in a very long time but I need to start. Also the last XXL, that's a small, the last XXL which should be this one in this dusky pink self care. Okay so this is the final order and it looks so cute all together like we got the manifestation desk pad there's only a few of these left good vibes desk pad Tokyo art print and the London pin and also I'm making these stickers right now. More excited notes. I think my sun catchers have arrived. So let's have a look. I got this design made as a sun catcher and I'm hoping all the sun shines through all the white bits. So, uh, my sun catchers sold really slowly last year, but I did get them in in autumn. So I sold them through autumn and winter, but I think this design is better. You can't see the way it shines, but it definitely has the rainbow shininess on it. I'm trying to see if I can show you. Can you see? You can't see. I guess I'll have to put it on the window for you to see how it will look, because it will look, oh, you can sort of see there, but I'll have to put one on the window and show you what it looks like properly, but oh, it's so cute. So I'm just, Packing up Patreon boxes. These are quite late because I was waiting for these to arrive. Um, I got this print outsourced because uh, I love the art shape. I thought it went really well with the afternoon tea um, stand display. Like it just looks really good. So I was waiting ages for these to arrive, this print. Um, so they are quite late, but this theme was tea party. And so we have this print, which says you are terrific a matching bookmark, a little note for my Patreons, the exclusive Patreon print and a matching greeting card. And I'm also popping in a little Welsh tea bag. It's just um, standard, what's it called? English breakfast tea, but this can be Welsh breakfast tea. 
I also have these stickers, but I'm not 100% happy with them. I think they look a bit, well, they look very faded compared to the rest of the colours. I like how they've cut out, but I won't be using this brand of paper again. I believe it is the HP or Evergreen Goods. Yeah, Evergreen Goods um, gloss paper. And I find that it's just so faded. So I'll be going back to my original gloss sticker paper um, in future. But I mean, they look okay. They just don't look as good as the rest of the things in this month's box. So the Patreon boxes are done. I'm packed up, ready to go to the post office this morning. And I'm gonna make a quick trip to the post office now just to drop them off before I have a Royal Mail collection coming then at about 12, because I have other orders going out. Um, what else needs to be done? Patreon podcast and a bunch of custom orders, castle place names. I've written everything in my diary, been mentioned on an Easter egg. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a busy day. is cold it is the end of april and it is like six degrees outside <sighs> and i've got the brightest socks on <laughs> i just love color almost forgot my glasses i've been wearing contact lenses a lot, a lot lately i'm getting used to them but i have my bag ready full of everyone's orders um let's go Oh, so I just got back from post office and the Patreon boxes, well, Patreon mail has cost me a lot more this time because I put in a tea bag. <laughs> a silly little tea bag has cost me double the shipping simply because of the thickness. I usually send letters. I usually send letters these days because from feedback from my Patreons, letters are more likely to arrive. Some, somehow and get past customs. So and then everything usually ships and um, fits in a letter anyway, because I do prints and stickers and bookmarks and greeting cards. But this time, like the theme was tea party. This time the theme was tea party. So I put in a little Welsh tea bag, uh, which was, I, th I thought, and like a nice little treat. So people can have a nice cup of tea while they open their uh, Patreon mail. But this little tea bag just, put up the thickness of the letter by like a few millimeters, which meant that it couldn't be shipped as a letter. It had to be shipped as a large letter. Yeah, so it's cost double this time to ship everything. And I thought I can't take the tea bag out of just the US ones, cause that's not fair. So I'm just gonna have to take the hit this time um, and learn from it. So, you know, it's all fine, it's all good. Shipping's always expensive. It's something that I take into consideration when doing all everything anyway so i'm not complaining um i was just like oh no a stupid tea bag like i could have put in something a bit better for to make the shipping worth it but no you guys have an expensive tea bag <laughs> but yeah i really enjoyed making this box and i can't wait for everyone to receive them this month's box is sunshine vibes and i've been working on a new greeting card collection with gold foil and sunshine vibes to match the theme um i don't think i'm gonna do a goodie box in may simply because it's starting to get on top of me quite a lot. I've been delayed a couple times and it's my birthday at the end of May and I'm going to be on holiday and I really don't be worrying about work so much. I just want to enjoy myself and not be stressed. And I think the boxes, I do them every month. They, they do stress me out because I always think of something new and exciting and exclusive 
to go into these boxes. I'm really proud of how they look and I'm proud of the products I put in them. But it is very stressful because most of the time I sit down and I'm like, what do I design? I have no idea what to make. And then I have to make this entire new collection every single month for my Patreons. And you know, I always enjoy it, I end up enjoying it, but it doesn't come without the stress. And I don't want to stress on my 30th birthday. And hopefully I'm gonna be on holiday somewhere, but it's not booked yet. Anyway, I have to get on with the rest of the to-do list, starting with packing a few last minute orders so that they can be collected today. And I should have these back in stock in the next week or so. And they're gonna have the new tags in them. And I'm excited, but I don't have a date yet, but hopefully I can pick them up from the embroidery shop on Friday. So I've just been rummaging through my inventory, well, a box that uh, I forgot was there. And I found these list pads that I made these are my first ever list pads that I made. I don't even know. I have no idea, maybe like 2015, 2016. Yes, like a lifetime ago. And these, the, there was a set of three and I found all three of them in the box. And this is, these must be my last ones because I thought I sold out of them. But they were all inspired by like magical witchy sort of vibes. And they had like proper hand-drawn illustrations that I did. Um, these would also eventually turn into a sticker set. but. I had three of these, so I might put them up in my shop for sale, um, maybe like as a one-off, maybe I'll post them on Instagram, I'm not sure, but yeah. Oh, what a blast from the past. I've also found some of the earrings that I used to have in stock. I found a couple of the Reese rainbow ones and also one pair of these pink ones. I'm just gonna make some backing cards now for them and pop them up and they can go in the restock as well. So I'll have like this blast from the past, these new earrings, well, not new, but these sweaters, new stationery, new sun catchers, um, these stickers I'm restocking, just in a pack at the moment, these holographic stickers. Yeah, I think it'll be a big, big, big restock. I'm also waiting for keychains and pins but I think they'll take another four weeks or so and I don't want to hold off that long. So they'll just go up in the shop as and when I have them. But keychains with Making Magic and also pins with Making Magic. So I've just had word that the, um, shush YouTube. I just had word that the Making Magic sweaters are ready to pick up. So I've put a release date on Instagram for Monday the 1st of May. Um, so I'm going to go pick them all up now. I'm going to get the self-care sweaters, small business sweaters, making magic sweaters, bring them home, fold them all up, get them ready. The shop update's going to be a big one because I got not just sweaters, but desk pads. I've been taking pictures today. I haven't filmed anything. I've been so busy. Um, but yeah, let's go get the sweaters. So we got them <laughs> all in the back. Well, that's most of them. There's still some in the shop that need to have their labels put on. Let me show you the labels. This is a really bad example, but look how good the labels look oh my gosh i'm just more and more i'm more excited oh my god oh my god um, not, not. i wasn't even gonna film this so i have to whisper uh, because guy's working next door but there's 47 Three active cards, 24 checking out, and 12, 12 orders, and there's two minutes past. Didn't expect this. Oh my god, look. I've never experienced this before. What the heck? It's three minutes past seven. I'm whispering because my partner, he works on the phones next door. It's back. Sun catches are up, the desk pads are up, the light blue small business sweaters up, hot pink self care clip sweater is up, making magic is up. 
Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> the clay earrings are up. It's four minutes past seven. Oh my god, it's just gone crazy. 23 people have ordered. Already? There's 56 people on the website. There's 38 active cards. 39 people checking out. And 23 purchased already. 24. Oh my god. I thought this would be like a slow launch because I thought most people would have had one by now. Still got 2XL so we still got all the sizes. I don't have XL until June. And then the hot pinks are okay. We got small. 40 active cards. Them. We gotta talk about yesterday's shop update and I'm still like I don't know how to process it because I mean I didn't expect it like every single time you know I've done a launch like this now it has blown my expectations out of the water because I mean this launch well launch update I expected it to be slower than the previous two because I mean I thought that everyone that maybe wanted one of these would have had one by now and I ordered a lot a lot more this time um so I thought maybe I would have some stock well a lot of stock left over that I could sell slowly now throughout the spring and summer months obviously it was getting warmer as well although it's still not warm enough to like not wear a sweater you know um yeah I don't know and uh, it was it was crazy I think I had like there was like 27 orders in a minute I've never, ever, ever, ever experienced something like that. And I feel so lucky to be able to have experienced it. <sighs> so I'm going to fold all the sweaters today because I haven't even folded them yet. Usually I would like to fold stuff and have everything prepped before the launch. But I didn't want to delay it anymore because, of, you know, we're in May now. Um... And as soon as I had the stock back from my embroiderer, I just put it on the shop. So I'm going to fold them today and then start packing them. But I'm pretty sure as of right now, I have one Making Magic left in 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 a large, not large, yeah, in a large. And that's it. But I've had these tags sewn in here. I have my logo on and then underneath it has like the washing instructions as well and they look so good but it's just it was a crazy crazy launch i didn't plan on filming it as you can tell like i looked terrible my skin was all dry and peeling um looked tired and disheveled i was really tired yesterday um and i just planned on having like a nice chill launch like 10 minutes before the update so 10 to 7. There was only like five people on the website. So I thought, okay, so th those people want a sweater, they'll get one. And then the rest of them, you know, will be sold as and when. I might put that one aside as a second. I don't, I think I kept one of each size back just in case things like this happened. Like, it, I don't know if you can see, it's like the embroidery is a bit off. So I can sell that at a discount and hopefully there's no more like that. It's therapeutic, but also boring. I'm going to try and organise them in sizes. Mm. Yes, Mochi. Um, so that I put the XXL on the bottom, the smalls on top. But it's been the biggest update so far, but also the one that I've done the least amount of prep for. So previously to this, I made sure I had a YouTube video going out, like five emails. Uh, a TikTok, a reel, you know, loads of Instagram posts. And for this one, I think I've just done a few Instagram stories, one grid post, two emails, and I didn't do any TikToks or reels. And that was just because I just let... I didn't rush, but um, I didn't have as much time as I wanted to to prep, and I didn't think it'd be as big as this as the previous one, but oh boy, was I wrong. I was so overwhelmed. The stationery actually didn't sell 
too well but I think that does better um like on wholesale so like on fair and in real life and in markets and shops and stuff things that sell well are different everywhere but I just thought I would buy, buy lots of stock this time and I'll sell it slowly I haven't even had the chance to put these on Etsy yet because they've just gone Hello, Future Tasha here. I didn't realise how long this video had become. I didn't realise how much I actually filmed over the past month. So I'm going to chop this video in half, split it into two and say a big, big thank you for watching and being here and being with me through this crazy, unexpected, amazing journey. It means so much to me. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.